everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Plant Power Performer. We are having last episode's special guest, Laura Ritter, join us again today, which is so exciting. And today's video is going to be discussing protein. Laura is a registered dietitian and nutritionist at the St. Joseph Mercy Center for Diabetes and Nutrition Education. She's a certified diabetes educator and a lifestyle medicine practitioner certified through the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Hi, Laura. Thank you Hi so there. much for joining us again and coming back on the channel. It's my pleasure. It was, it was so much fun last time. I couldn't wait to come back. <laughs> Thank you. Today's video, as you know, is about protein and Americans overestimate the amount of protein they need in their diet while not incorporating enough fiber. Why is this a problem? Well, it's a problem because when, when people are eating too much protein, they're obviously omitting the whole food, plant-based, valuable, gut, thriving microflora foods to which I spent so much time describing in the last video. One of the things that happens with protein is if they're eating in excess and the body doesn't use it, it basically will just convert it to fat. It's not that excess protein isn't just going to be like, wow, I have extra protein hanging around, so I guess I'll use it to build muscle. If it's excess, it's going to be stored as fat. If you're thinking in terms of grams, we actually only need 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So if you do that quick calculation for yourself, you're going to come to roughly 40 to 50 grams of protein. It usually is around 46 for women, 56 for men. Note for plant proteins, a cup of beans, for example, is 15 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. And then you can get another five grams in a baked potato, another five grams in a cup of spinach. So one might say, well, so what? I'm gonna still have, you know, my eggs or my salmon or my steak or etc." And those are, are fine if that's what you wish to eat. But let's do a compare and contrast of the benefits of these different types of protein. If you're getting your protein, from plant sources. Those advantages are, ah, guess what? You're getting fiber. You're getting phytonutrients. Phyto, that derivative plant. Phytonutrients, there's over 10,000 of them. There's, there's phytonutrients that we haven't even identified yet. They are what's responsible for giving the color to foods. And those are very life-giving and protecting to the body. Vitamins, minerals, as well as no cholesterol no unhealthy fat. But when you look at animal protein, you've got saturated fat. This is the fat that is responsible for cardiovascular disease. You have cholesterol. You have absolutely no fiber. Remember, fiber's only in plant foods and it's naturally higher in calories. When we are talking about animal proteins, they are associated with the growth of inflammatory microbes. The association of these animal proteins render what we call TMAO. It stands for trimethylamine and oxide. TMAO leads us to America's number one killer, cardiovascular disease. So how does TMAO come about? When we ingest L-carnitine, which is abundant in meat, and believe it or not, some energy drinks and supplements, as well as when we ingest choline. Choline is abundant and found in eggs, meat, and even fish. And it's these gut compounds that produce TMAO. So increased TMAO increases risk of heart disease, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, type two diabetes, congestive heart failure, and atrial fibrillation, just to name a few. Six out of 10 of diseases that kill Americans are from nutrition. Mm -hmm. This is a huge issue. So I'm not here to say 
that you can never have a meat product. But I am here to say that of your protein, the more of it that can be plant-based, the more of your total diet that can become plant-based, the healthier you're going to be. If 90 to 95% of your diet is plant-based, you're gonna be better off. Thank you so much for joining us again, Laura. This was incredibly informative and we will talk again soon. Okay, great. Thank you so much.